Okay, very good afternoon here on the 25th of January 2019. Rishi Patel, co-founder of Master the Markets, the Elite Traders Conference, and the Traders Open Day, and a very warm welcome into this weekly market roundup, uh, which is going to be around the trades that we've taken this week here in the live trading room, and the trades that we've taken in the Vedanta Elite room as well. We'll do a summary of both rooms, the results that we've got so far this week, and a trade summary. So the topic for this uh, this week is a trade summary. It's really good to take a step back sometimes and just review, uh, do a trade review and review the trades that you've actually taken uh, for the past week and just understand where you were in terms of your execution for uh, the actual opportunities. And then we'll take a look at the other trades from previous weeks as well for the live trading room here. Um, so it's quite interesting because uh, there are trades that we've taken uh, this month so far, the month of January, first month into 2019, where we're actually seeing trades that we sh technically shouldn't have taken uh, according to the system. And uh, so that constitutes a mistake actually just there. So let's go back and look at those opportunities uh, as well. So uh, let's start by looking at the trades of the week. So we'll start with the live trading room. The trade of the week really here was the Euro US dollar. That's the only trade uh, that we took on. We took a long position on the 22nd uh, and on the 24th of course there was the ECB meeting and we were stopped out of that trade on our initial stop. So what we're really looking at here um, is uh, the opportunity from this side uh, actually is the system uh, giving us a minus 1%, the cash giving us a minus 1%. So what we're looking at is Euro dollar. Let's take a look at the actual chart and we'll we can actually have a look at where we went long. So uh, we'll just blank out the parts of the chart, of course, that we didn't have on the euro dollar. So we weren't able to see any of this uh, in a nutshell. So this is what we saw on the day of wanting to go long the market. And what we had in essence was uh, this PSWB. Uh, it's a little bit too big. Let's just remove that make it much smaller. So we had this as a PSWB just there. Uh, we were looking to take that long. We entered on the close of the market, expecting for the market to climb higher and confirm this as a swing low. Uh, unfortunately, that's not what happened. Well, fortunately or unfortunately, it doesn't matter. We followed the plan. We had the initial primary come in. That closed above. It was a strong close above the previous day's high. So that looked like it had momentum. Uh, and then the next day, of course, ECB meeting, boom, interest rates actually stayed the same uh, through Europe and there wasn't actually any change. It's interesting that Euro dollar would react like that. It is quite clearly a stop taking bar. There must have been stops stacked under some of these lows. Uh, certainly our stop was stacked under this low and this was a stop taking bar. So it's clearly taken out those stops before it's looking to create its turning point to the upside. Couldn't capture that as a turning point. Can't win them all. It doesn't matter. Uh, it was in line with the system. It's a good trade. Let's look at the Vedanta Elite Room. Uh, only one trade of the week as well. Dollar Japanese Yen. So Dollar Japanese Yen just giving us a minus 1% there as well. So we were looking at the Dollar Japanese Yen here uh, becoming a, a turning point uh, on this particular bar. Uh, sorry, my apologies. Uh, what we could see when we went long, uh, when we went short dollar yen actually was only this. So we didn't have any of this data. We only had this. This is what we had. So we were looking at this becoming a potential turning point here in the market. We were looking to short this particular bar. Uh, we took it short on the uh, IB, uh, but it didn't unfortunately go the way in which we predicted. Market just moved higher took out the high of this bar which is where our stop was stacked and you can see not really that much happening from that point so again not ideal here for us dollar Japanese yen but it was a trade according to system it was perfectly executed and that's the point let's take a quick look at some of the other world markets that we have lined up here um, on the uh, on the on the weekly market roundup so dollar Swiss this is an interesting bar pattern uh, here you have a phase pretty much without interruptions up until this point here where you get this IB and then this PSWB that's breaking both the high and the low of this IB minus one bar. So it's a very interesting pattern. It looks like it would have definitely flushed out some orders there. And that's a PSWB to the downside. We didn't take it on money bars because there was a miscorrelation on the weekly chart. 
uh, which we didn't have the opportunity to actually take because uh, the weekly is a counter trend to the direction we're taking the trade. Not ideal for us. Uh, Euro Japanese yen not really doing too much. We needed to close above this IB minus one before we can look for anything to happen. Uh, pound dollar continues to move stronger. Now this is a very important pair uh, because this bar here, this is our 10th trending bar. This is the bar on which we can now further to this look for PSWB short and whether it's a money bars aligned trade or not we'll be looking to get involved with that because the turning point here is quite ripe at this time for us to get to 10 trending bars quite low probability so the turning point uh, will uh, be in the um, in the midst soon uh, this bottom to top move that we've seen uh, has already exceeded the normal amount of open equity that we see from the pound dollar only 15% of trades get this much distance by way of their open equity. So let's keep a lookout on that one. Uh, if we look at some of the other markets, the FTSE 100 is in a clean, clear downward trend that continues to trend lower. Um, the dollar, uh, this one, the S&P 500, a uh, great market to look at as well. Uh, again, very clean, clear downward trend. You can see there no trend lines will fit this and we don't really use trend lines here at Master the Markets we just use price which is why that's all you can see on our screens um, this is in a clean clear downward trend on the weekly but on the daily you can see in an upward trend and we are getting a little bit of a retracement here on the on the S&P 500 so let's see what happens in the next coming days and weeks Bitcoin uh, as well is a very interesting market I've seen a lot of gaps that have taken place in Bitcoin much earlier down the chart I don't believe the chart will go and fill these gaps but one thing that we have noticed if we drill down to the daily chart is that what you generally tend to see on Bitcoin is a compression for several months and then a sharp drop off. So you're seeing market compression inside here and then you're seeing a sharp drop. Again, market compression. There's going to be a chance of a sharp move. What we need to ask ourselves is, is that move to the upside or the downside? Well, currently we are in a downward trend and I do believe that there is a little bit more downside before we start to see a long-term move to the upside. So uh, Bitcoin, those of you that are looking to invest, uh, something that I'm looking into as well, I have mentioned on previous videos, uh, I believe Bitcoin to be a great investment. Uh, so it's just gonna be about timing this, which isn't quite yet. Um, the DAX, let's take a look as well, it's the same. Uh, clean, clear, downward trend on the daily and the weekly charts. So you can see that happening, good chance to short stocks for the short term. Um, that's pretty much it by way of uh, world market analysis. Let's do a quick trade review uh, through the live trading rooms journal in that case. So our trade review will be the three trades that we've taken this year so far uh, on the money bars trading strategy. Um, so let's take a look at what we have. So the first trade was of course on the euro dollar on the 11th of January going short. Uh, let's bring that up on the chart and we could have a look at the exact opportunity. What I'll also do as well is just let's blank out the chart for everything before the 11th of January because that will just uh, be irrelevant at this time. Let's look at the chart, the way that we could see it on the day that we were taking the trade. So if we were to do that, uh, let me just get rid of this for a second here. Let's bring this up, uh, our epic pen, as we normally use to outline things on the charts. And there is our trusty tool. Okay, so the way that we could see the chart on the 11th, it would have looked something like this. There you go. So you didn't have any of this data just here. Okay, oh, I took off a little bit more than I wanted to. There we go. That's it. That's what we could see on the 11th of January. And our premise on this particular trade opportunity was short so we wanted to short the market uh, on the low of that bar just there and uh, that's exactly what we did so uh, we took the market short our expectation was uh, the market would fall uh, to 113.77 uh, that was the exact target you can check it in the journal as well it's exactly correct uh, and that's exactly what happened actually the market did fall off and it did hit our profit target of uh, 113.77 uh, which was here uh, so that was uh, ideal for us um, we uh, were out of that for a profit of 1.1 1 
2% just there. Second trade up was this one. It was a pound against the US dollar. Uh, again, we're looking to capture a turning point in the market. Let's go and blank out what's not relevant on the chart. We'll look at it the way that we looked at it on that particular day. And so, yes, this was done the day before the Brexit vote. So we were looking to take the market short uh, in essence, and we were looking for um, for the market to move lower uh, and take us out on our profit target. So that was the goal just there. Um, we were looking for this to become a turning point here in the market. However, that uh, didn't happen. You can see the market moved much higher um, and is now at a very critical level that I mentioned earlier, which is on the 10 trending bars. So uh, we can now look for a potential reversal once again, um, whether we have a money bar set up or not. It's a potential to definitely turn here in the market. So it's quite an interesting setup. Uh, let's look for, uh, for that to happen just there on the pound dollar. Uh, but that was a loss. Now, there was an issue with this trade as well, I must say, because the issue was, um, although we were looking for this to drop off, this wasn't actually technically a system trade. We actually made a mistake on this because if you look carefully uh, at the PSWB, um, which is the bar that we took the trade around on the day we took the trade opportunity, uh, which is this bar here, if you actually look carefully at this bar, if we hover our mouse over it, uh, you'll see that the mid-range comes up as 0.5. Now, Technically, that's not a PSWB. A PSWB needs to be one that's less than 0.50 in this particular case. And because this was not less than 0.50, this was not an ideal uh, opportunity for us. Um, and on top of that, uh, it doesn't match the spec of the PSB, PSWB 2.0 as well. So it took us in. It looked quite promising uh, earlier on in the evening uh, before the Brexit vote came out. Uh, but then, of course, the vote came out and the m market moved all the way back and it came back up to the same level that it opened and then pushed higher and took us out on our initial stops. That was a mistake. We shouldn't actually have taken the opportunity. Um, and as a result of that, we were taken out for a loss of 1% just there. And then finally, last trade that I want to talk about is the euro dollar. One thing that I should mention as well is that all of the trades that I'm telling you are not just trades that we're seeing you know, randomly in the market this time. These are all trades that we are taking here in the market live real time. So you can there you can see the euro dollar winning trade giving us a thousand four hundred pounds. There's the pound dollar losing trade, the mistake that we made there, and the most recent euro dollar trade we were taken out of the market once again on a stop of one percent. We're actually down around six hundred and ninety pounds for the year so far. Um, but as we're transparent here, that is the truth and it's exactly what's happened. So we're not ideal, but it is the situation as it is. Last trade was this one just here. We entered it long on the close. We wanted it to move higher to create a turning point to the downside. It was a good trade setup with um, uh, an IB failure uh, as well as a PSWB V1 failure. So it had the PSWB V1 failure inside. It had the IB failure inside it as well. What we didn't have, or we didn't, didn't account for, of course, is the fact that the primary will, of course, then just turn against us on this ECB meeting. And this ECB meeting was quite an interesting one because, again, all the interest rates around the news in Europe were all flat. And it's all stayed exactly the same. There was no change to them. But this is how the market reacted. It's quite clearly a stop-taking bar, uh, and it did flush our stops out of the market, at least. And now you can see it has turned and looks like it will continue higher to create the turning point in the market just there. Uh, that's the idea on the euro US dollar. That's it in terms of our trade review just there. That one was done according to the system and according to the plan. Nothing we could do about that loss. Uh, but the system money bars you can see is up for the year because it wouldn't have taken that pound dollar trade. So that was the mistake that we need to, uh, to bear in mind. And of course get better on. We're still human beings here. We all make mistakes from time to time. But it's important that we log them, we understand them, and we learn from them. That's the idea. That's it from me on the weekly market update. Look forward to speaking to you all soon. Until the next time, stay disciplined, follow your plan, and keep trading like a master. Bye for now.